Pussybubble.com, page 7. Pussy farts in the Bible. Isaiah 26. We brought forth only wind. Queef, noun, vulgar, an expulsion of air through the vagina. Origin, probably imitative. So far I have spoken only a curse, only negative words, only gloom and doom. But there is good news. Good news not for the American pussy, but for those held captive by the power of the American pussy. For those who earnestly long for deliverance, for those who, like righteous Lot of old, are vexed continually at their captivity in New Sodom, at their forced collaboration with New Gomorrah. Good news for those who love righteousness, who love the law and the gospel, who long for the salvation of God from the power of the American whore. So before I proceed with my diatribe, with my prediction of the bursting of the per pussy bubble and the suffering that will result, I will proclaim the true, to the true remnant of God that good news. The good news is, for the remnant, we farted. Pussy farted, or queefed, to be precise. That's what Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 26, verses 16 through 19, at the end of the song of praise. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near to the time of her delivery is in pain and cries out in her pangs. So have we been in thy sight. O Lord, we have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth only wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, you that dwell in the dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. In other words, for those of us who have truly desired to fight to be delivered from the power of captivity to the rebellious system that created this pussy bubble, God knows our hearts, has seen our tears, and heard our cries. Isaiah likens our vexation, our good faith attempts at deliverance, and our expectation of God's blessing on those so far failed attempts to being pregnant or apparently pregnant. We tried to give birth to deliverance. We longed to rescue those who were perishing around us, to restrain the Jezebel rebellion and establish the law of God which leads to life. But when we strained and we labored, we brought forth wind. Like Paul, whose disappointed expectation for the conversion of the Jews brought him so much grief that he proclaimed, I could almost wish myself accursed for their sakes. We have labored in vain, but only momentarily. However remote the possibility, however late the hour, the gifts of repentance and faith could yet be granted to the people of this perverse generation, as repentance was granted to the husband of Jezebel herself, King Ahab, at the eleventh hour. See First Kings chapter 21. Though that which already is sown must undoubtedly be reaped, if indeed, as seems almost inescapable, the pussy bubble must burst, nonetheless, nonetheless, the hope and expectation of God's deliverance abides forever, even beyond the grave. But repentance, repentance, like that of Ahab, must be manifest in true contrition, and in a willingness to stand up to the American wench and to the evil principality possessing her, and boldly exorcise her sorceries from our heart by fighting to enforce the law of God.